Right then, a few weeks ago, I was off up a mountain and I said I was gonna buy a new camera. In fact, I had bought a new camera and I was just waiting for delivery of that camera at the time. Now, I did set the uh, challenge for people to guess what that camera was and I had some uh, really good suggestions, brilliant suggestions in fact. Some cameras which I've lusted after for years like the uh, X-Pan and Fuji uh, GW690s and the like, all superb panoramic cameras. Sadly, not correct though. Uh, people also suggested things like RB67s. It's a bit big for me, a bit big and heavy for lugging up a mountain. Now, uh, 9 out of 10 for those of you who uh, went along the lines of a 645 camera, 645 folder in particular. However, nobody actually got it right, although some came pretty close. So without further ado, my new camera is, drumroll, it is a Konica Pearl Mark III. Now this is a rather unusual camera in Europe. It's uh, predominantly found in Japan, which is uh, where I ordered mine from, as I said on the video. And it is a 645 folding camera. Now, the reason I chose this, and the reason I want to uh, make more content with cameras like this is because of their compact nature, yet they pack a big punch in terms of their image size, the resolution. Now this is not that much bigger than the Olympus RC, which I took on the trip up the mountain but the negative, I think it's about 2.9 times larger, 2.7 or 2.9 times for 645. It is extremely compact. Now, there are a few other things which I like about this camera and the reason I bought it is because it has features I don't have on any of my existing uh, folding cameras. Firstly, it has a coupled rangefinder. Now that means that as I focus the lens in and out, it's got a very nice little focus mechanism here on the front, the rangefinder inside gives me the little rangefinder spot to focus on. So I'm not having to zone focus by guessing or do a measurement and then transfer the readings to the lens. It is actually a bit, pretty much like using the Olympus RC. It's all self-contained in one little package. Secondly, it has something which none of my folders have had before, and that is an automatic wind-on mechanism. Now, this is set to allow me just to do a quick uh, two turns and the film is advanced to the correct position for the next shot. When you've taken a picture you just disengage this lever here and two turns automatically puts it in the right position. You can't overwind it. Uh, the spacing's not bad. I've put a couple of test rolls through it. A couple were quite close together. Um, suffice to say it does need a CLA but yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good for a what 55, 60 year, 60 year old camera now. About 60 years old I think. Um, superb. Lens quality is superb. It's a an f3.5, I think. Uh, yep, f3.5 hexar lens, 75 millimeter. So again, that equates to my sort of favorite uh, standard focal length, slight, slightly wider than standard, probably about 45 millimeters, and extremely compact. I mean, this little beauty, it, it really does pack down. Very, very small indeed. It's uh, probably my smallest folding camera to date, yet it has all those features in it, which make it very appealing. No need for the red window, obviously, without the uh, the wind on problem of most folding cameras. So yes, that is the uh, the camera I'll be packing with me on some uh, hiking trips and also some urban trips, which um, brings me to another video I'll be putting out soon, which is about going out and shooting around uh, a city for a change. Uh, that's gonna come with me. It's uh, actually already loaded with film, ready to go. Um, yeah, very, very capable camera, I think. So yeah, thanks for all the guesses. A very, very good, very interesting little uh, little challenge. Um, as I say, anything 645 folderish. always liked it. Always liked those little Fujis, the little uh, GSs, superb cameras, but a little bit pricey and also not as compact as this thing. Plus I have a penchant for, uh, for really old folding cameras. I just love the look of them. So, so yes, thank you very much for uh, uh, putting your suggestions in on the last video. And on the uh, video, when I go out and shoot with this, I will do a giveaway and I will give something away this time, promise because uh, nobody won it last time. So uh, yeah, I'll probably give away a print or, or something similar from the next trip. So yeah. Okay, thank you very much for uh, watching and thanks for all the guesses and I'll see you again soon.